Come on, Marcus. <laughs> What's up, guys? We're back. First video since my collarbone accident and the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, we're still in the middle of the season, so we're going to be careful. But we're pulling up to Marcus's house right now because he was supposed to meet us to do a video and he never woke up. And so we're going to go wake him up. <laughs> Marcus? Come on, it's time to skate. So since everything is closed right now, I thought today would be a good day to teach you guys how to jump. How does that sound? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys don't really know how to jump correctly, all right? You guys know how Not to properly. jump. Yeah, you guys don't know the proper jump technique. What's going on here, Vincent? Just trying to put the uh, Are your skates axle. broken? Do you need the doctor to come fix it for you? Uh, Dr. Squid here. Uh, Vincent's skate is broken, and since I'm a certified skate doctor technician, I'm going to be fixing it for him today. Cool. <laughs> I dropped it. He went skating in the rain. Do you look at I'm like putting a lot of Yeah, that's not good. You gotta turn it, Vincent. I can't help you. My arm's no, messed up. Vincent, I think it's like the little engraved part. Okay. Like Alright, Marcus. We need to get a baseline for you. Can you jump real quick for us? Okay, that was not a good jump. Alright, do a rolling jump. I'm sorry. Get your skate fixed. Alright. Oh god, the comb. Come on, bro. Stronger than the <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> I can't put that one in there. <laughs> I can't believe I wasn't recording that. <laughs> Marcus twisted it instantly. You <laughs> said it was like Excalibur <laughs> pulling the sword out. Damn Marcus. <laughs> Marcus said, all right, Vincent, so we're practicing jumping today. Can you um, just stop real quick and, and just jump in place for me? I want to get a baseline. Just jump. That was pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. All right, that was that was pretty weak. Weak? Yeah. I know. But we'll get you better. <laughs> what are you uh, nervous about when you jump? Um, I guess you could say, I can say the landing part, but uh -huh. the pivoting part, like, I don't know where my feet's going to be. Right as I do it. Okay. We're here in the grass because you guys are going to start off by jumping in a still position. Mm -hmm. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow you to figure out how to land properly on your skate blades. Because right now when you jump in the air you land and you're a little bit wonky. Both of you are. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to have you guys just jump in place for about a couple minutes. Right. Yeah. Okay good. Yeah now Vincent you see what Marcus is doing? Second. Yeah, that's what you want to do. Exactly. That's how you get all your height is by by tucking your legs There you go. Just like that that one that you did before that where you you thrusted your arms Exactly get your whole body into it. Try that Marcus mm. You want to follow through start low and follow through get low lower Yeah 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 Exactly so you want to tuck your body like a spring, okay? Exactly, that was good. All right, so we got this little setup over here. Basically what the guys are going to be doing is seeing how far they can jump. And I'm going to give you guys a few of the tips that I use when I try and jump my furthest. Kind of think of it as like, you ever seen the Olympics when they're doing long jumping and they have a mark where they have to jump from? I like to set my own marks because it helps me prepare for the jump. I also like to try and plot out where I'm going to be landing too if I can. When I can usually jump one of these full things on my skates, which is just a normal parking space. If I mark out where I'm going to start and where I'm going to land at, it helps me when I try to do the jump on my skates. Who wants to go first on this um, little thing? You guys want to rock, paper, scissors? Go ahead. Rock, paper, scissors. You want to pick rock? <laughs> oh no! So Vincent goes first. Oh goodness. So I think you made it. Where did he land at, Marcus? Probably like right here on this one? The, the first red one? No, no, it's, it's Marcus's turn. So hold on, I'm gonna give you some tips. Alright, so what you didn't do there was you didn't have your feet together. You yeah, remember okay. when we were practicing in the grass and I had you jump up? Yeah. You want to have your feet together because when you landed, you landed like... One foot. Yeah. 
so try to keep I your feet was, together. I kind of uh, prioritize the speed a little bit more than the jump itself, so I'm working on it. All right, okay. All right, Marcus, whenever you're ready, let's get into it. Oh, okay. Did you land it just past this, the first white line? So, Marcus, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest with you. Your, your jump looked clean. It looked great. All right? So now, what you need to do, the way to get a further jump is by just getting more speed. Okay? All right. That's all jumping is. It's a combination of speed and how high you can jump. How high you can jump is going to max out at a certain point, but your speed is never going to be able to max out. The faster you are, the further you can jump. Okay? Momentum. It's just all about how comfortable do you feel landing at that speed. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's why jumping in the grass helps a lot. So, uh, so tips for you, go faster and you can jump way further. And Vincent, you need to just, you need to stop having so much fun. It's a train day. Train day. He's having too much fun, guys. He just wants to skate, but he has to jump today. All right, Vincent, it's your turn. Let's see it, Vincent. Go fast. Go faster. What was that? I mean, you... It wasn't bad, but... I mean... Hold on, Vincent. It's not your turn. Oh, yeah, yeah. See, he's having too much fun. I keep telling him. I need you to get some speed here. There you go. There you go. Whoa! Oh, my goodness! That was a good one. I'm pretty sure. We might have to check the footage, but... That was a far one. So, so far, Marcus is in the lead, and Vincent only has one jump remaining. Yeah, it is. It, I, didn't, I didn't know it was a competition either, but now we've just turned it into one. <laughs> Should we bet something? What do you guys want? Can I get you guys something? Stimulus checks. No. <laughs> Some ice cream from where? Baskin-Robbins. Okay, we'll get ice cream from Baskin-Robbins for whoever wins. Vincent, listen. Yeah. Come here. Take it to the side real quick. Right. You need to go faster, okay? Faster. You're not right. going fast enough. I feel like when I go real fast, that's when I get unstable. When I know, but it. we practice in the grass. I believe in you. I know you can land it, and I know that you can go faster than him. So All if right. you just go as fast as you can, arc around this thing, get a nice run up, you're in the clear. I'm you're, beat you're, be you're beating him. I got it. I think you do. Go. Here we go. Faster, come on. Oh my, I think you tied him. I think you either tied him or you landed like a little bit ahead. We might have to do a side-by-side -side comparison. All right, guys, this is unprecedented, but after reviewing the footage, Vincent passed the fifth red line. He made it just past. So Marcus has one attempt left. What I'm gonna do for Marcus is I'm gonna pull up all the tape so that way Marcus can have a better idea. Remember how I was talking about earlier where you wanna be able to know where you're gonna land at? Yep. It's gonna help with your jump. So if we pull all this tape up and Marcus sees exactly how far he needs to go, he might have a chance to beat Vincent. So uh, you, you can do it, Mark. Marcus, how bad do you want that ice cream? I don't really want it. I, I, okay, <laughs> there you go. Hey, Marcus, hold on, hold on, hold on. I helped him out, I'm gonna help you out, Marcus. I have some inside information, okay? Now, Marcus. You know I'm the judge on this, right? So I kind of make the rules. I never said that you had to land it, okay? Use that information how you want. If you go fast, you're gonna win, all right? Okay. Good luck, Marcus. All right. <laughs> Come on, Marcus. I think you might have went over the white line, which would be a disqualification. Oh, you all right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, after reviewing the footage, Vincent wins today's challenge. Good job, Vincent. Hooray. Hey, hey, Marcus, good job. That was a really, it was a really good effort. You really went for it. You really went for it, which is what I'm most proud about, okay? So, you know, we might still get you some ice cream, all right? How about that? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, got the ice cream. No, two cones. Let's see yours, Marcus. Oh, no. oh, okay. See, Marcus, I was gonna act like I lost. since Marcus didn't win, he uh, yeah. he got a little I cup. <laughs> so, so he wanted the cup. We wanted cones right here. Cheers. 
Oh, did you just oh, oh, touch my ice cream with your finger? Sorry. <laughs> just lick it off. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Like if you like the video. And peace out.